Patrick Dangerfield, well, congratulations on a personal year, but a tough one. Yeah, it hasn't uh, been the season we were hoping, obviously, and um, disappointing end on the weekend. So hopefully, uh, the boys can learn from it and we can, you know, head head forward and and have it cracking with a good pre-season, but certainly improve on what we've done this season. Have you been, as a team, been able to take some positives out? Maybe some of the newer lads. Yeah, I, th I think that's a positive you can take out of the year. The fact that we've seen players like Jack Gunston, Daniel Talia play some really good footy for the club, but we're under no illusions. Uh, that's certainly not what we want going forward, and, and performances like that aren't acceptable and unacceptable for the, the entire season. We've been very inconsistent throughout the season, so uh, from a club perspective and a player perspective, we know that's unacceptable, and we're sure, we're sure supporters don't want to see performances like that, so we'll be doing everything we can to rectify it over the pre-season. What would you like to do personally? What You've got a sort of an idea, or is it, or is it rest time? <laughs> every few weeks not thinking about it. But is something starting to tick away about the next season for you personally? Yeah, it does. Obviously, um, you know, you look at back at your season and how you've gone and where you need to improve. I think most players will use the first couple of weeks as more of a recharge of the batteries, uh, a chance to sort of calm down after the end of the year. And then after that, you start to ramp it up again. You start to think about what you need to improve on for the, for the coming season. What about you? What, what would you like to work on? I think I'll just continually work on my fitness. I was really happy with the way I came back last season from the, from the, from the break, and I'd like to come back in similar shape this year uh, and just keep working on, um, I suppose, the way that I'm reading the game as a midfielder, which I think I need to improve on, and hopefully I uh, can use the pre-season to do a bit of that. Now, what about the finals? You're not there, sadly, but I guess uh, you, you're going on the trip? What's that? You're going on the trip personally, or will you be watching the finals from beginning to end? No, I, just, I like taking a, an interest in the finals to see how uh, different players play in them uh, and to see how teams perform because it's obviously where we would have liked to have been this mm. season. So it's, I think it'll be an interesting finals campaign. You've got a, you've got a uh, sort of somebody in the bottom four who can shake up the top four? Um, I reckon not necessarily in the bottom four, but West Coast on the weekend. I think, I think with their, their two-prong ruck attack, they're going to be mm. a lot harder than what other teams realise because they're the only team with two genuine A-class Ruckman, I think. So I think they're going to be very good. Um, Geelong, I think, just know how to win when it comes finals time, but I wouldn't discount Essendon. And when they play some good footy, they can just about beat anyone as well. Who's in the grand final? Uh, I reckon it, Geelong, definitely. Mm -hmm. And uh, whether it's a Hawthorne or a Collingwood, I'm not sure, but I wouldn't discount the top three. And a brown light? Adam Goods. Adam Goods. Can't, you can't put Juddy in there? Uh, I think Juddy's been brilliant, but I think people have underestimated how good a season goods he's had and especially the back half of his season and we know he's a, he's a proven vote winner so I reckon he could be a, a bit of a smoky. Have a good night. Cheers. Thanks Ben.